Hello everybody, this is Chad, back with a couple of quick videos here for our new version 14.1 of Untangle, which, which launched this week. Uh, I'm on our wiki site here, wiki.untangle.com, and I'm just going to punch up the change log here real quick for version 14.1. So this is a pretty big new release for us. Uh, it's, it's a major release. So we've got a new intrusion prevention engine, uh, a new provider actually. This has been Snort for a long time on the back end. Uh, Snort.org is the site for that provider. It's an open source, community-maintained IDS, IPS signature set. And we've moved to a different one called Suricata. Uh, you can see that right here. It's Suricata-IDS.org if you want to go check them out. Um, it's a really interesting interface now, though, because we actually have a new rules and signature-based system that is a lot more intuitive. There's no more uh, setup wizard in intrusion prevention, and it's going to actually let you choose rules based on resources. So if you don't have a lot of memory on your server that runs on Tangle, you, could choose, you can choose the low memory set of intrusion prevention rules. So it's a really cool thing. I'll show you that here on my demo server. We're also uh, doing zero touch provisioning. We'll probably do a separate video on that by itself. Uh, this is a really cool new feature. We're actually able to you know, send a box to a client now. They plug it in and they can just get on their command center account, add it there, and push everything down. Or their provider can do that through just a phone call with a serial number. It's a it's a very cool, handy new tool for command center. And we also updated our certificate management system in the Untangle UI, which I'll show you as well. So let's hop over to my demo server real quick. I want to show you a couple of really interesting features that aren't exactly mentioned in the uh, change log there, but are two of my favorite things we've done in in probably the entire four years I've worked here. So under web filter, under categories, this has historically been a pretty big list. It's a huge database, and now we have a search bar. So there that is. Um, the, the better version of that, I think, the more crucial version is in application control, because application control now has close to 2,000 known application signatures in that list. So now if you come over here, we're all used to just scrolling and scrolling through all these apps. But maybe I just want to see uh, the Facebook app or apps. Uh, maybe I just want to see all the proxy apps so I can tar pit them. So this is a huge addition to me. Um, maybe it's because I'm biased and I'm using Untangle you know, 100 times every day. But this is really, really handy. And then I mentioned this conf uh, the conf Certificate management system has changed. So under config administration, we'll come to certificates. And you'll see a lot different system here. Um, this has gotten a lot easier to use, I think. So now if you need to generate a server cert, there's a button right there. If you're going to create a, a signing request, if you're going to import one, upload a server cert, it's all really simple now. So we do have some more documentation coming on these. Obviously, this uh, this just dropped here about two, three days ago. So version 14.1 is out. These are basically the new features. I'll probably go through and, as I said, do another video for zero touch provisioning. But let's take a quick look at intrusion prevention. As you can see, there's, there's no more setup wizard. It's showing me all the signatures available, what's logging, what's disabled, and it's showing me the last check for an update. We do maintain these recommended signature settings through automatic updates. So you can add your own signatures, but it's not really required because we've got these recommended settings going. Over here, you'll see a, a quick peek at memory usage. Um, intrusion prevention is obviously one of the bigger consumers of resources, but that's reduced a little bit here since we moved from Snort. So as I said, you can come through and do high, medium, low memory uh, rule sets. I think these are really handy. If you hover over them, it'll show you what it's doing, what the conditions are built on. And then the signatures over here are actually really handy as well. Same same type of search functionality we used to have in IDS, IPS. Um, if I just type in DDoS, it's going to show 167 rules instead of 26,000. And then I can come block whatever I need to do here if I want to edit these. Uh, we also still offer the variables here if you need to add any variables or enable these. And then the reports are always available here in intrusion prevention. And, and as I said, I, I use intrusion prevention at home, and I always check these logged reports. We don't block a ton of stuff by default, though we do log a lot. So you can always come in and just take a quick peek. If you see something that's concerning you, go throw it in uh, rule. 
or a signature. Um, that's basically some quick tips, some new toys with uh, version 14.1. Check out the YouTube. We'll come back and probably do separate videos, maybe a deeper dive into intrusion prevention, maybe uh, uh, zero-touch provisioning. So check us out here on untangled.com on the uh, resources tab, or you can just go straight to youtube.com slash untangle corp. Thanks.